everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make curry kongs or curry lambi. And as a child growing up, I loved to go and catch kongs, but I never liked eating them because I didn't like the idea of eating a little snail. I used to think it was a snail. So I didn't like the idea of eating them, but a few years ago, I would say like 5-6 years ago, I started eating it and I didn't realize how much I loved it. It tastes very similar to chicken gizzard. If you've ever had the gizzard and the chicken, it's very chewy and tough. This is very similar to the gizzard. So if you like that chewiness, then you'll love kongs. So the kongs is very tough and you'll have to pressure cook it or you'll have to cook it for a long time to get it really nice and tender. So there's two different types of kongs in Trinidad. There's the river kongs, which I used to catch when I was small. And then the one I'm going to show you guys today is the lambi or the sea kongs. So I call it kongs because in Trinidad, we speak British English and the plural of conch is conchs or if you call it conch, it's conches. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make curry conchs or curry lambi. If you want to see how to do it, keep watching. So I have about two pounds of Belize sea conchs here. We call this lambi in Trinidad and in some other islands in the Caribbean. So with this sea conchs or lambi, you have to remove that brownish, orangish skin on the outside. And the meat that you're gonna use is the white part inside so depending on what's easier for you you want to pull that skin off and it's not very easy it's very very tough to pull off so I like to just cut those flaps off on the outside on the sides actually and then I like to cut it in half now when you cut it cut off any kind of protruding pieces of the conks that's gonna be hard to get the skin off now what you want to do is try to rip piece of the skin off from the edge and just rip it going all the way by ripping off the skin you just get the skin off alone and you don't pull any of the excess meat with it so once you've ripped all that skin off You'll just remain with that white piece of conks. Now what you want to do is cut it up into smaller bite-sized pieces. To wash it, I like to use some flour and mix it in really good with my hands because the flour pulls all that fishy sea smell out and it pulls all the impurities out of there. So massage that flour into the conks well with your hands and add some water and let it soak for like 10 minutes. To season, I'm going to add a generous amount of salt, some chopped pimento peppers or seasoning peppers as we call it in Trinidad, a staple in every Trini kitchen, some green seasoning, and I'm just going to work that in with my hands just to massage it because you want all those rich flavors to be soaked into the conks. To chunky, I'm gonna add some coconut oil, and once that heats up, add some chopped onions, as well as some curry leaves or carapili leaves. After about a minute, add some minced garlic and some hot pepper, and let that fry for an next minute. So after about a minute, I'm adding some chopped bandana or shadow benny, and I find that when you add it when you're chunking, it gives much more of a distinct flavor. Stir that well and lower your heat and now add some curry powder, some turmeric powder or we call this saffron in Trinidad, some roasted ground jeera as well as some black amjara masala and just give that a little stir in there. Make sure that your heat is on low because you don't want it to burn, you just want to roast or toast these spices. Now you want to add a little bit of hot water and stir that to create a nice slurry. Now you can raise your heat back up to medium and let that cook and fry in there or chunky until it has a really thick and grainy consistency. So at this stage you'll notice that my curry mixture looks very thick and a lot of the liquid has reduced so it's a very grainy consistency and you'll notice like the oils are starting to separate from it. So at this point add your seasoned kongs in there.
Now give it a good mix to make sure that thick curry sauce coats the conks. What I'm going to do now is let the conks release its natural juices, or we call this bunje in Trinidad. So I'm gonna let it bunje, release its natural juices, and reduce and then you'll see it starts developing a really thick coating on the outside and it's gonna start sticking to the bottom of the pan and at that stage I will come in and show you guys what to do next now that it's bungeed or dried down I'm gonna transfer it to my pressure cooker if you don't want to cook it in your pressure cooker then you can just leave it here and add a little bit of water to cover the conks and then cover it for about 45 minutes to an hour and make sure you keep checking it in between just to make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom or anything's going wrong but i think the pressure cooker is the way to go because it gets it really nice and tender within like 30 minutes so i'm gonna put it in the pressure cooker now once you've added your kongs to the pressure cooker go ahead and add a little bit of water just enough to cover the kongs or you can add a little less depending on how thick you want your sauce i want my sauce a little bit runny so that i can eat a bit rice or roti like if you want that thick curry sauce, like if you're going to eat this like cutters, then put a little bit of water because you want that to dry down completely. So it's been 30 minutes now and the kongs is very tender at this stage, but it has a lot of liquid left. So I'm just going to let that reduce a little bit more to thicken up the sauce. And like I said, you don't have to add as much water as I did. Add a little bit of water so that when it's finished pressure cooking, it's going to have a little bit of liquid. So it's not going to take too long to dry down. So when it's nearly finished cooking, I like to add some chopped bandana or shadow benny, just to give a little extra flavor. So this stage is perfect for me, so I'm going to take out some for me, because I'm going to dip mine with some sada roti, and this long water is going to be perfect to put over rice or sada roti. But some people like it with a thick sauce. So my husband, he wants a thick gravy, so I'm going to reduce it a little more and I'll show you guys how that looks. So this is Kong San Saturday. This is how I like to eat it with like a really watery sauce. So you guys can reduce it however you want. This is just how I like it. So you can have this over rice, you can have it as cutters. Uh, when it's thick with that thick gravy and dry down, that's perfect to eat as cutters. So I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe, leave me all your comments down below, give the video a thumbs up if you like it, tell me how you make kongs in your island or your country, I would love to hear from you guys, I love reading all your comments. So until I see you guys in our next video, bye!